Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Journey of Life. Uh, I have been doing some work, because uh, today we're going to make a little bit of progress, and it was uh, suggested to me that I start getting into this sawmill, which I had planned on doing, because uh, I, I kind of knew it was going to give me more planks. Uh, thank you, Lonnie, for spoiling the surprise of doing like four or five planks per log. Uh, that saves a lot of work like this. Uh, I have brought up to the developer about this, and apparently it is being fixed in the, in the next update. Uh, it has been in the dev branch, so we should be seeing that fixed pretty soon. But hey, if we get a sawmill, I got enough trees. We might just rebuild our house out of planks, but we'll see when the time comes. Uh, you know, I have been thinking about it. it almost might be a interesting touch to keep the pillars as thatch and then have everything else as planks, but. We'll see how that goes. Uh, I have done a little bit of uh, harvesting and gathering. Uh, one, of the, uh, one of the things I have done, I don't have it on me, uh, but I upgraded the, the handle on the pickaxe. I put uh, the same uh, handle as uh, the axe here. The durability goes down a little less. Uh, you can actually see it there. That's from taking out one and a half boulders. Uh, but because of the the handle, I guess, with the longer draw straight, uh, swing, I basically lose no stamina using this. The amount of stamina I lose hitting is regained on the, the draw, so it actually works out pretty good. Uh, I've got a chest here full of coconuts. There's still more going around. Uh, yeah, this is a bug with the chests. Uh, what you have to do, if I can get to it, Oh, that bush is in the way, that's why I think. Yeah, you can usually right click on the outside of the menu window and get a fix. Let me see what I can get out of this. Okay, I'm back. I can move, but it's still there. But to get out of this now, and I have to, uh, when you open up a chest, I find to stop this from happening, you gotta be like really close to and look at it. And if I open it and close it again, as long as I got that highlight while I'm closing it, then that, that doesn't happen. And yes, the regrowth is a thing. So uh, it's a good thing I didn't have any big trees here. Uh, anyways, what was I doing before I got stuck in the chest? Uh, I might actually move that, I don't know. But uh, I have gotten a whole bunch of bamboo. I got a whole bunch of clay because we're going to have to actually make a, a saw blade mold. And I checked the iron supply and I have just enough ingots to actually make this. Uh, I tried to do a little bit of organization too. I think once we get the sawmill going, we're going to have to make a whole bunch of chests and get some storage and some shelves and whatnot. And I think I might actually keep this wall here. It might be nice to have a shelf here for tools and whatnot instead of me placing them on my workbench. Oh, uh, speaking of coconuts, actually I should probably have, probably have some outside here. I uh, cut down the one tree that was here because I wanted to make some handles and stuff like that and I did also make a, cut a whole bunch of blocks for making gears. So yeah, let's uh, start on this. That's what those are for. There's a few others in there for extra handles if I need them. I did make a spare or two and yeah. So first of all, actually first of all, first thing we gotta do, did I take the clay? Yes I did. All right, so we gotta go into pottery, which we're already at, and make a saw blade, sawmill blade mold. Let me just go ahead and fire this, and I've been keeping the trying to keep the fire starter down there. And I don't know what's up with that that glitch. And it's not even sh yeah. Well, it in earlier it was actually uh, still warm because I had saved when it was turning off. Anyways. Uh, in case you're wondering about the hot bars, because I keep moving stuff out of my inventory, so it takes it off the hot bar. And so you have to reset it every time. And I had a log here somewhere outside. Yeah, so we'll go ahead and take this. Uh, but yeah, definitely the handles on the tools make so much more of a difference. Uh, too bad you can't really see stats on anything right away. But, you know, once you get it on the table here. You can see like specific st stats, like this is just a hammer, so it's it's not going to be that noticeable. But on the axe here, damage on trees 20.3, or plants 20.3, damage on trees 48. Uh, if I had the other handle on there, that would have been like 20. And the same with the pickaxe too. This, the pickaxe with the, the other handle I had on there was, was it a mining speed, or mining was like 
11 and then I put the this handle on and went up to 20. It is slower but it definitely does a lot more. Okay, so you are done. So turn you off. We'll grab that. And now we gotta go fire up the smelter. Or uh, whatever you want to call this thing. What do I have in there? Oh yeah, shovel. I made a made a new shovel too. That wasn't the shovel. What is that? Oh, silly me. Oh well. At least we have another one. Now, uh, how's this thing doing for fuel? Oh, it's fully fueled. Okay. So, I'm going to go ahead and get all these blades smelted, and I'll bring you back when they're done. Okay, I can understand chests holding stuff bigger than things bigger than they actually are. But come on. The saw blade is twice the size of the mold. Anyway, I got two more to make. I'll be right back. Okay, last one's going through now. Uh, it's actually a good thing I made a second mold because I actually needed it. Because that one broke. So now, now we go and build this thing. So we're going to stations. I do have to make some rope for it. We'll get into that soon. Sawmill. Okay. My, this is big. A very big. Oh, wow. Uh, not what I was expecting. But like I said, we'll just drop it somewhere that doesn't want to glitch out on me. And then we'll, we'll figure it out from there. Okay, so I need planks. I went ahead and made a whole bunch of planks. Which is good. And I just don't like the fact that you can only take them out one at a time. There's actually no way to access it. It's doing one or two. It's doing two at a time. Okay. That's not too bad. Uh, I might have to come back for another trip. But let's go check this thing out. Yeah, this is definitely bigger than I thought it would be. And I gotta make the gears too. I totally forgot about that. We'll get to that in a second here. Okay. I need one more, one more plank. Uh, I've been working all, all day on this thing. Just about. I did a little bit of resourcing at the, in the morning and then brought you back here. So I need five rope. Five rope and I need ten small gears to... We'll have to do that afterwards because I don't have the inventory space for it. Okay, that's the wrong chest. Take that over. We'll go to crafting because I always forget in my inventory. And five rope. Actually, surprisingly cheap considering most games would be like two fiber for one rope. This one's only one to one. So I like that. That's actually pretty good. Okay, now we're down to a stack. And I did it again. You see what I mean? You look back at it, you can close it. Okay. And then we get that in. Now I'm going to make the gears. Alright. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I didn't actually need to do that. Ha ha ha. Okay. So I'm going to craft the gears. I'll bring you back in the morning. Uh, after I've had a nap. And we'll continue on. Okay. I'm back. And I'm actually getting quite dizzy. I wanted to see if that would actually work. And you can actually stand on that thing and it'll spin. Uh, yeah, I was actually getting quite dizzy. Alright. These gears that take an obscenely long time are done. So let's see what we have here. Cool. Looks like a bed. All right. So what are we doing here? What is it? Actual levers. Cool. Okay. So power. Guessing it hooks up here. 
I think I should get a connector on this side. And we'll go from there. And this is why I got the bamboo too, because I was anticipating that. Uh, whether or not that'll actually fit inside is another story. I think we're going to have to leave that outside. I'm sorry, we got to do a niche. Uh, bamboo was over in this one, I do believe. No, that was clay. There we go. We got a bamboo. I got to make two more of those gears. That's why I cut all these logs up. One and uh, two. I don't think ratio really matters. Okay, so we go to craftables. Make two one by one to ones. Which take a very long time, as you can see. And from here, we're going to go into the stations, and it's going to be just a horizontal connector. So I got to get short solid sticks and craft two rope. Get that while it's going. And short sticks and two rope. Oh, I got to leave this open because I cannot actually access my crafting from there. One, two, craft those up. Take no time at all. Okay, get those back in there. And I did it again. Yes, I did it again. There's one gear. And just waiting for the other one. Oh, it's done. It finished just as I opened up the menu. Oh, that's right. I gotta make something, don't I? Okay, we're going to stations. We're just gonna make a horizontal connector. Uh, it's a shame it's not longer. Bamboo. I thought I grabbed the bamboo. Oh, wait. One meter, isn't it? I think so. That makes sense. Okay. Now I get a oh, crouch down to do this. Hopefully not chop a hole through the floor. Okay, pick those up. Go over here, and now we can make that horizontal connector. Like so. Just a couple of quick swings with the hammer. Oh. Yeah, hammer has a tendency to break. Oh, uh, it would help if I had the right stuff too. I need uh, straight solid sticks, which are not in that chest. And I did it again. Yes. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, all back and all fixed. All right, uh, yeah, that was the wrong chest. <laughs> Let's not do that again. Uh, that was the old tools. That was clay. I know I had them somewhere. No, it wasn't in there. That was a chest I got stuck in. There they are. Okay. Let us do this. Do, 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 do. We need a wind powered hammer. Okay. So now, let's see if we can move you. First, I'm going to have to move you out of over here. Okay. And the reason why I have to do that is because if I place it, it's still going to be trying to place it where it still is. Yeah, it's kind of kind of messed up, I know, but trust me, it works that way. All right. Uh, oh, yeah, you're on this side here. Okay. So now, are you going to snap for me? How are you going to snap? How do you connect? Let's have a look. Uh, 
let's have a look at the gear assembly here. Where does this thing connect? I would guess somewhere around there. It's kind of hard to see with this green ghost in my face. Hmm. Maybe I have to move the lathe. Yeah, it's not wanting to snap anywhere. What I think I'm going to do is actually try to move this and see where it connects to on here. That doesn't seem right. But yeah, apparently. Hmm. How does that fit in with the windmill? I might have to make a second one. I think I might know how to do this. Okay, I'll place that there. I'm going to have to make one more of those, so I'll be right back. Okay, I got it all figured out here. Uh, what I need to do is I need to use a vertical connector to extend it. As you can see that I've got there, uh, I was going to put that back and I move things around. Uh, let's put that back there. Where is this? So I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna put this all back the way it was. I don't know why you're snapping there. I don't want you there. I don't know why you're doing this. Okay. I think it's got to do with that vertical connector. This thing here. But this allows me to like create uh, connection points so I can actually connect these together. I think it's got something to do with the sawmill being here. Uh, but anyway, so what I'm going to do, maybe we'll try this now. Let's actually... I'm going to have to make another one of these. Um, hang on, hang on, hang on. Yeah. Uh, I'm getting all confused here. Okay, so that's going to go there. And this is going to go over here. Now I'm hoping that the, the windmill is going to fit in there. It was actually sort of clipping into the base there. And it's not going to go there because eh, I'm sure there's things in the way. So, pick up all the junk and try it again. At least I think that's what's going on here. this. Let's take it out and find out. It takes a long time to cut down a small plant. But anyways, uh, let me figure this out off camera and I'll bring you back when I got it all set up. Okay, apparently the logs were in the way. So that is good. So now I actually have to make another one of those. I do believe. Yes. So let me take care of that. Okay. I have it all set up. Uh, yeah, like I said, there was the logs that was in the way. Now I just got to build one more of these. I need those straight sticks because I totally forgot about them. Alright, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Oh, I was right. How am I out of those things already? I'm sure there's some on some the floor somewhere around here. There we go. Okay. So now it's just a matter of a couple of hammers here. And yes, I know that my hammer's bugged. And 
there we go. So now we can go pick this up, get it out of the way, and so I have to place it over here first. Actually, probably should have placed it somewhere else because I think it's still going to be in the way. Yeah. Okay. Oh, is that rock in the way? Something's in the way. Hmm. Seriously, like, why? Uh, I think it might be the rocks or something. I don't know. Uh, let me figure this out and I'll be back. Oh, yeah, I was actually going to make a couple more connectors, but apparently that works there. I just moved this, that connector off the windmill, put it over here onto the vertical connector, and now we're actually getting the, the lathe working. So let us see what we do with this thing. I know the levers actually do stuff. Oh, wait, hold on. So there's something I'm actually missing here. Hmm. Let me get something down here. But like I said, I've never actually used this thing before, so I have absolutely no idea what's going on, what I'm supposed to be doing. Doesn't seem to be getting power though. Hmm. I have to look and see if there's something else I'm supposed to be doing because I think I think the sawmill is supposed to connect this. Hold on. All right. Well, I think I got it figured out. Uh, it turns out it doesn't actually snap. You just have to more or less line up in place where you think it's going to be so because of the fact that it's actually not snapping doesn't mean it's not going to work I just got to basically have that gear roughly in the same spot and actually that was actually that was close enough it's working though alright so what do I do here hmm Well, I guess uh, let's get some logs, shall we? I need inventory space too. Always need inventory space. I need a bigger backpack. Uh, all this stuff I can find on the ground, so I'm not too worried about it. All right. Uh, okay, that's a two meter or one meter. Let's go cut something down. Never mind. I was here before. Yeah, we'll just leave the one meters here for now. Rubber wood. Anyway, so what do we do here? Oh, it did go on. Cool. Okay, and uh, now what? Besides glitching onto the platform. Better get that out of my hand. Oh cool, the blade's kicked up. That's cool. Okay, I think I know what I gotta do. Run it back and forth a few times. I'm thinking. Oh, look at that, the planks are actually dropping down below. That is cool, I like that. Cool, you do five at a time. 
that make things so much easier. Just simple things in life, huh? Okay. Controls are basically simple. Really easy to figure out. I didn't even think about the the blade switch. Didn't even look at that. And go back and then we get one more we should get one more cut out of this and it'll get us our full logs. I like that. I really like this whole gearing system. Even though something like that should be technically inter cancel each other out there and uh, oh that got fixed because I know it was revert it was reversing on the main here there oh yeah and off for our final run definitely have to find a better place for it and it all drops out that is so cool I like that And we can go here and we have our 15 logs or planks sweet that is really cool that's definitely a wise investment uh, I had trouble figuring this, this out but uh, I guess as long as the gears are close enough to each other it should work so yeah uh, anyway so let me check something here and we'll continue on alright well we're pretty much time on this one but since we have a few minutes oh by the way when I moved the, work, the workstation, the tool work, workbench, the handles stayed behind. That's kind of funny. Anyway, uh, yeah, let's uh, get a few logs down. I see some carnage here. I'll do a nice run of five logs before we end the episode. Okay, what else we got? We got another one meter over there, another one meter over there. I might as well go down to the beach and clear up what's left. So no, there isn't much left. Uh, I've done so much clear cutting down here, it's unbelievable. Okay. You can see this axe in action. And as you can see, it like hardly affects my stamina at all. Just good. And the best thing is about cutting these palm trees down. At least I get coconuts to drink while I'm here. So it all works out. There's four. Need one more log. I'll also grab a few more of these while I'm at it. Use all and uh, it'll take you. Now I don't know if these ones will actually grow back. Um, considering the fact that it's been probably close to two weeks in game that I've been cutting these trees down on the beach. Nothing's grown back. I think the only ones that would grow back are like the, the small bushes and stuff like that. But anyways, let's go ahead and do this. And this is one of the things I like about this game. And there's uh, I think there's a few others that are like this, where they do sort of things sort of this way. Is the whole drag and drop thing? All right. I wonder if I can actually load this up and then move it back. You know what I mean? Like how we're... Can't load it up here. But how you're dragging and interacting with the actual machine instead of just put it into a GUI. Okay. Uh, backward. Uh, thank you. Now I'm wondering if I can load it from here. I can. That's cool. Very cool. Okay. Power you up. And off we go. Definitely gotta move some stuff around. I think we're gonna have to try to build a foundation or something that's a little higher so the the mother nature doesn't get in the way, we'll say. Oh, okay. I was like, hey, I only got a four. I just had to move a little closer because it was out of the way. Look at that. The levers are giving you the finger. Kind of looks like it. Okay, and then backwards. Now, here's a question. How many of you did the, how many of you out there think you could actually build something like this out in the, 
out in the wilderness, out in a situation like this, creating out of, uh, oh, even then, can you imagine how much work it would be just to create a, a, a plank by hand, even if you had a saw? Trying to cut through a, a six-foot-long tree into a three-quarter-inch slab isn't exactly the easiest thing. And that's our final pass. And... Pop. All done. My god, that was the easiest 25 plagues I've ever made. Oh. Oh, you can spin on that one, too. Cool. We. One thing I do want to try, since I know we can do it. Uh, sure, we'll do it with the rock. Get the rock spinning around. I almost want to do something funny with, interesting with these gears, like a Rube Goldberg or something. That's funny. Anyway, that is, oof, that's a unexpected turn. But anyways, that is the sawmill. This is actually really good. It's going to make things so much easier for building and stuff. And I think uh, possibly upgrading to a plank wall house might be doable. Uh, yeah, that is uh, definitely a tricky one. It's just the gears have to be close. They don't actually snap. And that was my biggest problem. But anyways, I think I'm going to call this one here. I thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.